Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to write a SQL insert procedure that contains an identity column. I will also show you how to call this procedure and get the output value. If you want to see more programming training videos from me, where every video teaches you what you need, that are easy to follow, easy to understand, proven steps that will make you learn, you will benefit by subscribing to my channel. I will not disappoint you. Let us look at building a store procedure to do an insert command. Notice the name of my table is called my product. My product has five columns. The column of interest is this product ID. Let's see designer. Notice on product ID, I can come into the properties and notice that this column is indeed an identity column. So we have to handle this appropriately when we do a store procedure. So notice I have all my input parameters, but the one column of interest, product ID, is an output column. This is its data type, but I'm going to be returning it when we actually do this command. So at the very top, I declare two variables, an RV, and I initialize RV as an integer to zero and the error message in n varchar for 2048. I check each column to see if it's null, and if it's null, that's an error because all of these fields are required. If they are null, I set the error message, and then I go to a label called return, I mean error return. That's the way down here on the bottom. Notice here on error return, I set RV negative one, and then I raise an error with that error message. So each column required, I do this test, and then we get down to the insert statement. Notice I say insert into my table name, and I'm not using product ID here. And here's the magic here. After this insert statement is done, I say set at product ID equals scope identity. This is the magic. And once that's done, I come down to go to before return, before return, and I return that RV. If you can remember up top, I initialize that to zero. And there you have the insert statement using an identity column. Now that our store procedure has been created, it's now time to test it. I'm going to call this a unit test. So what we have here is I've declared all the fields that were part of the table. They become the input to my store procedure called proc my product create. Notice each of them are defined here as well as my identity column, but there's one difference. Notice that one is an output column. We're going to be inside of a transaction here, so I will say begin trans, and then I will execute all these, and then I will print out the product, now be uh, the output. Let's try this. Ready? And notice that our output returned 1001. And I did not commit yet, but let's go and say, select star from my product and notice there it is right there now if I do a commit that will be preserving that forever if I do rollback it'll be gone however the identity column has already been incremented in fact that's a beautiful test let's do rollback and then let's see what happens when we do it again. I'm going to commit this, I mean a rollback. And now when I do a select star from there, I only have that one table. But when I try to do this insert again, it will be 1002. Let's try that. So execute. Notice it tells me 1002. Select star from there. And there you have it. And then we can say commit. So there you have it. And there you have it, team, the insert statement.